And in the governor's update this morning, he singled out Robinson County, Lenore County, and Pitt County as places where there is still a lot of concern. Rivers in Kinston and Greenville are still rising. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin has an update from the Emergency Operations Center. Today, the governor wanted to remind people that even with these Carolina blue skies, there was still a lot of concern during the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Today makes day nine of North Carolina dealing with the aftermath of these devastating storms. Flooding is still a major issue. Looking at river models, the Tar River at Tarboro is expected to peak sometime today. The Noose River is expected to reach above record levels. That's higher than during Hurricane Floyd in 1999. In Smith field, it surpassed flood stage by more than one foot, and with that, the water is going downhill. The Noose River at Kinston is forecasted to crest at record level on Saturday. Many of these areas still have a mandatory evacuation in place. Right now, there are 3,800 people in 43 shelters across the state. We want these people not to have to stay in the shelters, but um, and we also need to return these shelters to schools. But this is going to be our major uh, priority is how do we get at least temporary housing for people who have been flooded up? And we're talking again thousands of people. And there is no easy solution. While we continue to deal with flooding, folks from at least eight other states have come to help. In Raleigh, Lauren Havlin, CBS North Carolina.